morning everybody my name is gaurav chaudhary the topic for today's uh, lecture is k means algorithm numerical which comes under the subject of machine learning and i am assistant professor at it department ajay kumar jag engineering college ghaziabad so uh, we will uh, before going into uh, solving the numerical for k means algorithm we will uh, we should know that the k means algorithm is an unsupervised learning algorithm so what does k stands for in the k means algorithm so the k in the name of the algorithm represents the number of groups or clusters we want to classify our items into and hence the name k means algorithm and uh, we should also know that it is an unsupervised algorithm and why it is an unsupervised algorithm it is an unsupervised algorithm because the points have no external classification so having uh, said uh, about the uh, uh, k means algorithm we will now proceed on to solving the numerical for k means algorithm suppose the following problem is given to you you have been given eight points and you have to draw the cluster into uh, draw uh, draw the cluster of the following eight points into three clusters so you have to group the eight points given to you in into three clusters so suppose you have been given eight points a1 which is 10 comma 7 a2 which is 8 comma 6 a3 which is 9 comma 4 a4 which is 5 comma 8 a5 which is 7 comma 5 a6 which is 7 comma 4 A seven, which is three comma two, A eight, which is four comma nine. So we have to use the K-means algorithm, and the metric we, we which we are going to use for clustering uh, these uh, points into three clusters will be the Euclidean distance. So for this, we require the uh, initial clusters. We have to choose some initial clusters. and uh, those initial clusters will be denoted by their cluster centers so so, so suppose uh, uh, from the given eight points what we are doing is we are selecting initial clusters to be uh, three points so these uh, three points which are uh, namely a2 a4 and a8 so we are selecting these three uh, points to be the centers for our three initial clusters so uh, this is how we will uh, uh, seed our algorithm so uh, now uh, the question says we have to find the solution up to two iterations so uh, the question can be whether you have to solve the algorithm for two iterations or the question can be you have to solve the question till the algorithm converges so what is the difference when 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 i when when we say you have to solve the solution up to two iterations and when uh, you have to solve the solution till the uh, your algorithm converges so uh, when your algorithm will converge your this iteration actually here denotes the epochs epochs means one completes the cycle through all the examples so uh, one epoch is equal to your one iteration and uh, to uh, uh, to uh, bring down the uh, to not uh, tell the uh, student to uh, find the solution for this algorithm till the algorithm uh, converges what uh, generally uh, it is said uh, to reduce the number of uh, calculations for uh, calculating the clusters of 
for this uh, algorithm uh, they say you just uh, calculate so show the solution till up till two iterations or three iterations uh, your converge uh, your convergence of this algorithm may take more than uh, two iterations or three iterations so uh, so generally it is said uh, to bring down the number of calculations uh, for the student it is said that you can show this solution up to two iterations instead of showing the solution for the full convergence of the algorithm so uh, this is one uh, format of the question we can have another uh, slightly uh, dip, uh, slightly uh, 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 slight variant of the above uh, problem uh, above uh, problem in terms of description of the problem here we say that we have got uh, we begin with the same line that we have to use k-means algorithm and Euclidean distance to cluster the following eight examples into three clusters then we are given the eight points and here we are also given the distance matrix based on the Euclidean distance so now we say that suppose the initial seeds or the centers of each cluster they are if a1 a4 and a7 so uh, it is said that you run the k-means algorithm for one epoch only and at the end of this epoch what you will have to show you will have to show at the end of one epoch or at the end of one iteration you will have to show the new clusters the new clusters in the sense that we, we begin with the initially three clusters and each cluster was having just one point or one example belonging to it so uh, at the end of the iteration more more points will be added to each of the clusters as is the case and uh, so we have to show the new clusters at the end of the one iteration that is the examples belonging to each cluster and we will have to find the centers of the new clusters because once uh, more points are added into uh, your uh, each of the three clusters your center of the cluster will change so you will have to find the new centers of the new clusters and they will become the seeds for the next iteration or the next epoch epoch which you will uh, 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 calculate to uh, find the new clusters for the points so here the question is how many more iterations are needed to converge draw the, and you have to draw the result for each epoch so at the end of each iteration you have to draw the result draw the result means you will have to draw the three clusters showing the points they contain at the end of each iteration or or at the end of each epoch so uh, how many iterations are needed to converge then you will have to go from epoch to epoch till your uh, uh, previous uh, clusters and the current clusters they uh, come out to be same if they come out to be same then your algorithm converges so you you can count uh, till the uh, uh, previous iteration and that will be the number of iterations which, which will be needed to converge in the case of k-means algorithm so now uh, we will proceed on to solve this problem so uh, we have been given eight points as before but here the initial seeds or the centers of cl uh, clusters they are taken to be a1 a4 and a7 so these are our three seeds So coming to the uh, uh, solving this uh, problem, we say let d a comma b denotes the Euclidean distance between a and b, and it is obtained directly from the distance matrix or the which is calculated as follows: your d a comma b is equal to square root of uh, your x b minus x a whole square plus y b minus y a whole square. So 
this this is just the uh, Euclidean distance between two points A and B. So we will not be uh, going into uh, solving the square root of the distance. We will be uh, calculating the. We will be uh, using the magnitudes of the distance in terms of square roots of the distances to make our calculations simpler. And so we will start. Uh, we have to, here. Here we have got uh, three seeds. Seed one is your a one. Uh, which is equal to two comma ten. Seed two is your a four, which is five comma eight, and seed three is a seven, which is one comma two. So we will begin with our epoch one or the iteration one. So in the first iteration, uh, as we have already discussed, what we will do is we will calculate the Euclidean distance of each and every point with all the seeds, with all the three seeds. So for all the eight points, we will calculate the Euclidean distance with all the three seats. So when uh, so uh, we first we take up the uh, point A one, and because A one is the seed one itself, so the distance between A one comma seed one is comes out to be zero as A one is seed one. Then we calculate the distance between A one and seed two, which comes out to be root thirty. Which is greater than zero, then we calculate the distance between a one and c three, which comes out to be root sixty five, which is greater than zero. So uh, now the question is, a one point should go to which plus which uh, seeded uh, cluster? So uh, whether it should go to the cluster containing seed one, or whether it should go to the cluster containing seed two, or whether it should go to the cluster containing seed three. So uh, we have uh, calculated the distances uh, of the point A one with all the three seeds, and we find that the minimum distance is zero, which is the With uh, even with itself, so that comes out to be zero. That means your even uh, point will remain in the uh, seeded cluster one. So the, the even point will remain in it itself. It will it will not be moved to any uh, other cluster for which the point says C two or C. Three. It will remain in the cluster for which the seed is one. So a one is belongs to elements of cluster one. So next we calculate the take up the point a two. Next point, which is a two, and we calculate the Euclidean distance with all the three seeds. And when we calculate the distance with all the three seeds, we find that the uh, distance between the point a two and seed three is root ten, which is the Lowest, so that means your a two will be the element of cluster three for which the seed is three. So a two is the uh, will belong to cluster three because this is the smallest of all the Euclidean distance. The distance between point a two and seed three is the smallest of all the Euclidean distance between uh, a two and the Uh, respective seeds. So now, uh, having calculated for a two, we move on to the next point, which is a three. And we uh, for a three also we calculate the Euclidean dis distance between all the three seeds. Between uh, that is the Euclidean distance of a three and seed one, a three and seed two, a three and seed three, and then we find that the uh, Euclidean distance between the point a three and seed two is actually root twenty five, which is the smallest among all the uh, uh, Euclidean distances of the respective uh, seeds of the clusters. So this means that your a three will belong to cluster two. 
So uh, next we move on to point A4 and we again uh, for the A4 we find the Euclidean distance between the point A4 and all the seats, initial seats and we find that A4 uh, is uh, the distance between A4 and the seat 2 because A4 is itself a seat so distance between A4 and it itself will be 0. So in that, in this case, uh, so A four will remain in the cluster containing seed two. So A four is the element of cluster two because zero is the smallest distance among all the Euclidean distance of the respective seeded clusters. So uh, next we move on to point A five. And we for the point A5, we find the Euclidean distance of point A5 with all the three seats, seat 1, seat 2, seat 3. And we find that the distance uh, between the point A5 and the cluster containing seat 2 is the lowest. And hence, A5 is element of cluster 2. Next, we move on to point A6 and we calculate the Euclidean distance of point A6 with all the three uh, CD8 clusters and then we find that the Euclidean distance between the point A6 and the C2 is the minimum of all the three and hence your point A6 is element of cluster 2. Next, we move on to point A7 and we calculate the Euclidean distance of point A7 with all the three seeded clusters. And we find because your uh, A, uh, A7 uh, is the seed itself, so the distance between A7 and itself, which is seed 3, will be 0. So this will make the A7 the element of cluster 3. And next, finally, going moving on to the final point, which is A8, we will see that uh, we can see that the uh, smallest Euclidean dis distance between point A8, A8, and C2 is the smallest, and therefore A8 is the element of cluster two. So, uh, having uh, found. Uh, that which uh, point belongs to which cluster, we will fi finally form our new uh, uh, clusters uh, containing the, uh, we will find the new uh, clusters containing the new points. So uh, the number of clusters remains same, but the only thing is that now the clusters will contain uh, uh, new points which were not there in the clusters before. So now we can see that your uh, cluster 1 contains only point A1 and your cluster 2 contains 5 points which are A3, A4, A5, A6 and A8. Cluster uh, 3 contains 2 points which is A2 and A7. So, uh, having uh, find the new clusters, your next uh, logical step is to find the new centers of this cluster because initially the, the centers were a point A1, point A4 and A7 itself for the initial three clusters. But now because the cluster have got new points, the centers of these clusters will change and the centers of these clusters will be the average of the point uh, average of the uh, points which are there in each and every cluster so if we see that uh, your cluster work contains only uh, one point which is even so the average remains the same average of itself so uh, your uh, center for the cluster 1 remains same which is the point A1 but the center for cluster 2 which was uh, point, which was the coordinate of point A4 before now the uh, center for uh, 
cluster would uh, two will change to the average of the five points which are there in the cluster two. So we we find the average of five points of, uh, with respect to the coordinate of each and every uh, point. Uh, so we for the uh, x coordinate we find the uh, new x to be eight plus five plus seven plus six plus four by five, and for the y th co coordinate we find the new y to be four plus eight plus five plus four plus nine by five. So the new coordinate of the cluster, new center coordinate of the cluster, comes out to be six comma six, and similarly. For the cluster three, which uh, contained only one point in uh, before uh, initially, now it contains two points. So the uh, center of this cluster will be the average of these two points, and these uh, uh, the x coordinate for this cluster is two plus one by two, and the y coordinate for this cluster C three is five plus two by two, which comes out to be one point five, comma three point five. So these are the new clusters. And this is the uh, uh, this is this amounts to one iteration of the algorithm. Having found the points which belong to each and every uh, cluster, initial clusters, and the new centers of the clusters, this amounts to one iteration of the algorithm. So in the diagram, you can see uh, there are four. Uh, and diagram so in the in the uh, the top uh, uh, left uh, uh, corner you can see the uh, each and every point on the uh, x and uh, each and y uh, uh, each and every point located on the x y coord uh, coordinate and uh, in, in the uh, top uh, right corner you can see the uh, you can see uh, the uh, initial clusters which are the centers of uh, which uh, which contain only one point and th that one point is actually the center of each and every cluster so because these are the initial clusters you can see the red dots which are a1, A4, and A7. These are the initial clusters containing uh, one point initially. And then uh, after the end, uh, when our as our algorithm progresses, we add more and more points to the cluster centers A1, A4, and A7, and we have uh, grouped these points into these three clusters. So in the uh, bottom left uh, corner, you can see the grouping of these points into these clusters. Now, ha having grouped these points into these three initial clusters, the bottom uh, right uh, corner uh, diagram shows uh, the new clusters along with the new centers. So, if you see the cross mark in each and every uh, cluster, uh, you can see a new cross mark in each and every cluster which which denotes the new center for this uh, clusters new centers in the sense the average of the points which are there in each and every cluster the average of points will uh, will be marked the location for that uh, the uh, for that average value will be marked by a coordinate and denoted by symbol x so in the first uh, cluster even it's it, because only one point is there so A1 itself is the new center for the second cluster, which is the average of point A2 and A7. Your X denotes the new center between A2 and A7. And uh, whereas your for the third cluster, there are uh, five points, and X denotes the uh, average of these five points. So these are the uh, these are the, this is the new shape of the the, the initial three. Uh, clusters and the points which uh, are which are there in these three three clusters after the end of one iteration. So now uh, the question is what what should how how we should proceed on 
to our next iteration. So the, for the next iteration, what we will do is that your uh, these cross symbols for each and every centers, they will be taken as the new seeds for each and every cluster. So these are the new seeds now. Initially, we, we had taken the uh, three uh, seeds uh, for the initial clusters. Now we have got new centers, which becomes the new seeds for this cluster. And for with respect to these new seeds, we will calculate the Euclidean distance of each and every uh, uh, point. Where in total, there are eight points. For all the eight points, we will calculate the Euclidean distance between uh, those eight points and these three new seeds. So when we will do so, what will uh, happen is, there will be a rearrangement of uh, points among the clusters because your centers have changed. We have got new centers, new seeds, and with respect to those new seeds, again the uh, arrangement of the points uh, uh, which are there in all the three uh, clusters, there will be a rearrangement of the points which are there in all the three clusters. And when there will be a rearrangement of points which are there in all the three clusters, your shape of the cluster will change after the second iteration or the epoch 2. So, uh, this uh, whenever uh, epoch 2 uh, starts, this is the second epoch. So, uh, the uh, we will uh, see the diagram for this uh, result after the end of second epoch, it says that the cluster 1 contains now two points A1 and A8, cluster 2 contains uh, four points A3, A4, A5, A6 and cluster 3 contains two points A2 and A7. So what has changed between epoch 1 and epoch 2 is that in epoch 1, we, the cluster 1 had got only one point A1. Now, in, after the end of epoch 2, your cluster 1 has got A1 and A8. Two points have come into the cluster 1. Your cluster 2 remains same, containing A2 and A7, whereas your cluster 3 now contains only four points instead of the five points it contained, at, which it contained at the end of uh, epoch 1. So, the uh, diagram on your uh, uh, left, uh, shows the uh, result after the end of epoch 2 and uh, the diagram uh, then after the end of epoch 3 the diagram at the end of uh, epoch 3 it shows uh, the uh, result now we, the cluster 1 contains 3 points and cluster 2 contains 2 points cluster 3 also contains 3 points and we have also got the new centers of these clusters. So at the end of each epoch, we will calculate the new centers which will become the new seeds for the next epoch. So uh, this is how uh, this uh, algorithm will proceed and we will uh, find that the uh, result of the epoch 3 and the result at the end of epoch 4 will come out to be same. So in this case, we only need three iterations for the algorithm to converge. So this is how the uh, working of K-means algorithm is with respect to a numerical example uh, takes place. So this uh, completes the numerical example for K-means algorithm. Thank you.